Hello, I'm Darren and I'm going to talk to you today about impact sourcing. So my research paper is based around the value of impact sourcing. So first of all, what is impact sourcing? Impact sourcing is a form of outsourcing that benefits disadvantaged individuals in low employment areas. The concept of impact sourcing has been around for about 10 years now and it basically arose because of uh, one key problem, that being that 1.8 billion people in the world don't have access to a formal job and of this 1.8 billion, there is a huge amount of young people with tertiary education who don't have access to a formal job. So what impact sourcing does is it brings the type of digital work that would traditionally be formed by outsourcing providers to people living in economically depressed areas. This scenario creates a win-win for both businesses and communities. Businesses benefit from reduced costs and communities develop from uh, increased employment. So what is the value proposition for impact sourcing for businesses? Firstly, there are cost saving benefits, which include reduced labor costs. There is corporate social responsibility benefits, meaning they get to impact in disadvantaged areas. There is growth benefits, meaning they get to tap into geographic regions that they had perhaps not tapped into before. And there's also community benefits, Communities benefit both directly from increased employment and indirectly from the increased amount of businesses that are set up to support these businesses. So why has impact sourcing emerged? One of the main reasons that impact sourcing has emerged in the last 10 years is an increased emphasis on corporate social responsibility. Companies are now more concerned with how they are viewed within their industry and there has been huge emphasis placed on uh, a company's corporate social responsibility. There's also been the emergence of what's called a youth bulge. So that is an increase in the amount of young people with tertiary education who are unable to find uh, employment. Similarly, there has been a, a lot of development with innovation hubs where technology innovation hubs have been formed um, all over the world. And these hubs have uh, the potential for um, impact sourcing. There's also been a backlash towards the traditional form of outsourcing, particularly in countries that have a um, high unemployment rate. So impact sourcing and um, one, of its, um, one of its benefits is that it can form rural sourcing, which means taking jobs out of the big city and bringing them into rural areas of a country. So what regions in the world stand to benefit from the increased emphasis on impact sourcing? You see in this chart here, uh, the number on the right represents the amount of unemployed people with tertiary education living in that country. So we can see here that India is well primed to take advantage of an increased emphasis in impact sourcing, followed by Egypt, the Philippines, South Africa, Kenya, Morocco. So some of the key issues that companies look at when they consider engaging in impact sourcing include risk, the infrastructure reliability of a region, the economic stability of that region, the scalability and the social impact that their impact sourcing will have. So let's look at some of the large companies that are currently engaged in, out in impact sourcing. We see here Microsoft, HP and SAP have all embraced impact sourcing and again because of the increased emphasis on corporate social responsibility. Some of the various business models that these companies might undertake when they engage in impact sourcing. So we have two models here. Model A is that they would typically just go directly to um, an impact sourcing service provider and model B, model B brings in the impact sourcing service provider subcontractors. So there are many companies that exist at the moment who are currently engaged in subcontracting and we talk about them in our paper. So what is the future of impact sourcing? As we see from this graph here, uh, the market size of impact sourcing has been growing year on year from 2010 up to 2015. Um, some of the types of impact sourcing that companies have stated they are willing to engage in include application outsourcing, business process outsourcing, and infrastructure outsourcing. And the likelihood of companies engaging in impact sourcing in the future. Some of the industries that we see here in terms of production, uh, resources, communications, media and technology, and financial services all show a high likelihood that they will engage in impact 
impact sourcing in the future. So the future of impact sourcing looks good. Again, it is mainly brought on by an increased emphasis in corporate social responsibility, and it seems like the market is ready to embrace it and come